Yeah, my name is uh, Morten Sondergaard and I work at Genuary Sound. I'm an acoustic engineer at uh, Genuary Sound. I work in the acoustic department and I do uh, find element simulations to make the hearing aids uh, vibroacoustic uh, stable so they don't squeal while they are on the hearing impaired person's ear. The vibroacoustic uh, simulations are the, the most important ones to uh, make a good hearing aid design. But uh, recently, since the last year, we have also done uh, impact simulations of the hearing aid to make it uh, withstand the drop uh, when you, for example, when you change the battery in the hearing aids, then you can uh, easily uh, drop the hearing aid. So we need to make sure that the hearing aid is still working after you have dropped it several times on a hard surface. We started using uh, Abacus Standard. Uh, I've been working with Abacus Standard now uh, 14 years. And uh, recently we also started to use uh, Abacus uh, Explicit for the impact simulations. Uh, but we have also uh, used uh, Tosca for topology optimization and also iSight for parametric optimization. The most interesting part with, for example, Abacus Explicit was when we saw the first animation of how the, the, uh, the drop was when the impact of the hearing aid. Then we actually, when we saw that, we actually got some uh, some ideas uh, right ahead because we understand how it was uh, uh, absorbing the impact. So then we're already at that point with the first animation, got some new ideas for the next design we would try to, to simulate. And then we started simulating a lot of designs and once we have found a good design, we made a prototype and validated up against it. With the simulations, uh, we we can get very creative because it's, it seems it, it is more easier to try out new things. For example, adding small design changes and then try them out. Because earlier we, with the trial and error approach, we had to build a new prototype to prove that it was working. So now we, we can do it in the simulations.